Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, close the door. Oh jeez. Oh Chica and Freddy. Oh free. Uh, okay. 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 Um, I think I'm good on the foxy front though. She. She's out there. Okay. Okay. Come on. Let's check if Bonnie's still there. Okay. He's good. We're good. Oh, jeez! Hey, what's up guys? I'm Devin here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my FNAF 1 Pizzeria build in Minecraft. Now, I already made FNAF 1 before. In fact, I made it like three times in my life. Okay, that's actually probably an understatement. I probably made it more than three times, maybe like five. But this is my first time actually, or my second time doing it on uh, Java. So this is, like, uh, it's, it's supposed to be as accurate as possible to the FNAF 1 location. Um, and I also included like a Freddy head. Uh, on the outside because I mean that that's how Freddy's is, is described in the new kid It's unclear if that's what it looks like in the actual uh, Games, but I just uh, made it like that just to see uh, How it would look and I think I, I think I did pretty well the one thing I all say is the eyes look a little bit weird Maybe I, I don't know if they would look better if they were just hollow black, but whatever anyway, so I made this uh, the outside isn't really um, doesn't really match the inside by the way it's it's kind of just like ran random like shapes that I would assume that I think would be natural. I also wrote Freddy Fazbear's on there and there wasn't really room for pizza so I just put pizza down here so Freddy Fazbear's pizza so uh, as I showed you guys uh, last time when I talked about my uh, Afton ending build, uh, that I've I downloaded a mod, a FNAF mod from for 1.18, uh, point two, so that I could make the thing m m more accurate. Like you see here, this is a black wall. This is not a thing in the actual game. So I included stuff like the tile blocks and stuff like that. All the the heads. I did stuff like that just just so that it would look better. Um, for the walls, I didn't want to use the tiles though because honestly, I felt like the tiles in in this in this mod were like kind of too small, I'd say. So I, I kind of I, I just used regular concrete blocks for that. But for the floors, then I I used tiles just because it used, it looked better. But let's actually go inside now. So I made a video like this exploring the, my FNAF one location build in Minecraft on the Mind Zone SMP, which was so long ago now. Thinking about it, like it feels weird how long ago Mind Zone was. But, but yeah, I, I made a video exploring the, my FNAF 1 location build, and I didn't have any mods on there, obviously. And now with the mods, it looks a lot better and cooler, and I think it made it a lot more accurate. For some reason, you could um, phase through the gifts, and the gifts are in the wall, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, this is just like the main lobby area. I didn't want to include too much. There's supposed to be arcades and Freddy's, obviously, and there wasn't really a place in there that I could put them, except like a couple off to the side. So I decided to include some, some like out in the lobby and some presents over there. And I use I, instead of using the wall tile blocks for like the actual wall, um, because like I said, I felt like it, it there the tiles look a little bit too small, if you know what I mean. Um, so, in, but I wanted to use them for something, and I feel I feel like they they make a lot of sense. Like they look good as like a counter, like a, a front desk area for it. And then this is the I think this is what kind of chair is this? Is just this is just a chair? Is it? I think it's this one, right? I know there's a chair and there's the office chair. Um, where's the office chair now? I can't find it now. I'm stupid. Uh, office chair, office chair. Office chair, where are you at? Um, why am I struggling so much to find the office chair? And why am I... You know what? Chair. That's that's char. Uh, office chair, there it is. So, that's the office chair right here. And, and it can, like, move around, too, which is cool. Uh, and then there's the regular chair. So, yeah. And I use I use the regular chairs here. Why the hell does this... <laughs> okay. It, it's, it's a mob, apparently. Um, 
so now let's go into the main area the main dining room and look at this place i included speakers on the sides of the stage because obviously why why would there not be speakers this is where i put the arcade machines by the way and i put wall pizza all over the place and i included the animatronics like like obviously there would be there's animatronic mobs in this game and there is the um the daytime versions of them so in the daytime they kind of just stand still you know they don't do anything um i think he like turned or whatever you know i just realized like you guys can't see i don't have my camera on for the video but um <laughs> oh a toy freddy moves i get oh actually that makes sense because in fnaf one i didn't i i didn't know this before by the way i haven't made fnaf 2 yet or anything so i didn't know that the fnaf 2 animatronics move around uh even in their daytime form but that's because in fnaf 2 the animatronics were allowed to walk around at night but uh were allowed to walk around during the day but the FNAF 1 animatronic cannot, so that's why Toy Freddy walked around here, and why these ones, the daytime, uh, daytime Freddy, um, that's why he is, uh, that's why he's just static on the stage. And then overnight, he, he'd probably, like, um, move around. Um, I don't think, I don't think he'd recognize the entire layout of the building, but, yeah. So I included a bunch of balloons and presents all over the place, because it's like, it's a, it's a party area, so... Yeah, um, put balloons on top of... Okay, so I kind of color-coded these. For Freddy, I, uh, Freddy plushies I put on the orange wool blocks. Because, I mean, they just, they just... It's the closest color to Freddy, you know? <laughs> Obviously, Freddy's not orange. Uh, he's brown, but brown is just like a darker shade of orange or red. So, <laughs> that makes the most sense. But Foxy's red, so he goes on the red one. Golden Freddy's yellow, so he goes on the yellow one. Chica's also yellow, but um, I couldn't really <laughs> put her on the yellow one too, so I put her on the pink one because of the cupcake. Bonnie I put on the blue one because he's blue, or purple, depending on who you ask. Um, but the green ones, there was nothing left, so I just put green balloons on top of them. Over here I have the prize corner, or the prize counter, depending on, again, what what you pay attention to. In FNAF 1, it's, I mean, in FNAF 2, I mean, it's, it's referred to as both, which is kind of weird, but... I think it's the prize counter in FNAF VR, which is what this this version of it is based on. So there's just a bunch of bins around. This is the trash bin. I would have put ATMs, but there's not really much room. Um, and also the closest thing would be arcade machines, which don't really make sense. I, I you know what? I'll, I'll just put I'll just put some here. Why not? Um, I'll put the, I'll, um maybe they could be actual arcades, I guess. Um, and then I'm gonna get chair. And just put this here. Nope, wrong thing. Wrong area. Wrong plate. Wrong spot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you know, yeah, that works. Okay. But over here, I put a bunch of plushies around. Obviously, like, I can't get it down to, like, the finest detail because it's kind of, it's a pretty small area. Uh, by the way, this is the hole in the, in the wall where, like, the claw machine comes out, you know? Um, but yeah, since I can't, <laughs> obviously, um, uh, since this is a small area, I can't uh, add that much detail, so I just put um, one of each plushie and then a couple extras on the on these shelves. And I also put a Golden Freddy one because, uh, I mean, there's like a greenish yellow Freddy. Um, or, well, it's like, the, it's just the lighting probably, but it's like greenish yellow on the shelf. So I just included Golden Freddy because obviously it's not meant to be Golden Freddy, but it's, it's just, um, I just decided why not. Um, add that in um because it was the closest thing uh so yeah i put a bunch of pizzas all, all around the place like the wall pizza not actual pizza obviously and um if you guys remember i mean i've been talking about this every time i showcase one one of these minecraft fnaf builds i always remind you this is like a theoretical world so like these are all in the same world by the way like like i like i've shown you before it's i built this location and on top of that i built the, the afton family house um and, like, I built it on top of Sister Location because, obviously, that's where it is. And I built the Afton ending where Fredbear's would be because I believe FNAF 6 to be um, uh, Fredbear's Family Diner reused. So, it's it's a theoretical world, you know? So, I didn't, I didn't like, make it completely, like... I mean, it might not be completely lore accurate. It might be, too, but um there's there's no telling whether it is 100%. By the way, Foxy's over here. Why is he turned this way? <laughs> There we go. Um, 
But yeah, it might not be entirely lore accurate, but it's a theoretical world. So what I decided to do with FNAF 1, instead of building like the kitchen, which we've never seen except maybe in FNAF uh, VR potentially, but instead of building the kitchen, I decided to put in here the two animatronics that are theorized to be in here, or at least were back in the day, and I don't know if they still are. Golden Freddy and the Puppet. So the puppet, obviously, I mean, the toy animatronics were scrapped at the end of FNAF 2, so, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> That's kind of what happened to them, but after FNAF 2, what happened to the puppet? Some people theorize that he's in the kitchen, or she, um, again, depends on who you ask. It's a male character, possessed by a girl spirit, so say whatever you want, I guess. And Golden Freddy, I mean, he's been theorized to be in, in the FNAF 1, uh, kitchen, I mean, since the days of FNAF 1. Because the camera's blocked out, and Golden Freddy just appears out of nowhere. So, uh, now, what I want to do next is... Uh, show you this room so this is the the backstage room I made again I made it as accurate as possible I think I got all the heads in the right spots um, and I think they're the correct ones too I put them where they were where they are in the actual game all the Bonnie heads the Freddy heads, and the Chica heads um, and then there's also the endo that goes here too there's the endo block and like but the endo block it sits down you know so um, but if you go over here and get endoskeleton I'll just search endo. There's endo O2, endoskeleton, endo, and endo block. So endoskeleton spawn egg, there's that. Endo O2 spawn egg, there's that. There's endo, which I think just spawns either one of them. And then the endo block, which is sitting down, which is obviously meant to represent what we see in FNAF 1. So that's so I put that one there too. So because I mean like I said, I wanted to make it as accurate as possible to the original FNAF 1 location, so that's what I did. Um, and over here, I actually included some redstone uh, here. So, you see all the redstone lamps around, right? You can actually turn them all off with this lever. They all turn off. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you, like, how that works. Um... So, I just have a bunch of redstone repeaters uh, connecting to these. And <laughs> look at this. All this is empty space. It's just for um, exterior aesthetics, right? Um, and over here, you can see this is a room we never see in FNAF 1, but we see in FNAF 3. And, yeah, in FNAF 3. Um, so, we're going to go into there right now. This is obviously the... Uh, wait, did I close this off? Nope fix that okay um i went over to the bathrooms before uh while i was talking just because i uh, just to uh, just so you guys aren't looking at me just standing still um but something i didn't mention these are um white wood doors these are the fnaf 4 doors the bedroom doors and i just put one stall in each um i i made the this is how i like to do mirrors and builds is or specifically for bathrooms since there, since there's mirrors and there's two on either side, I just build the exact same thing on either side and put glass in the middle to represent a mirror. So it's a reflect. It's like a reflection. It gives the illusion of a reflection. The only difference is you can't see yourself in the opposite side. Um, so yeah. But now over here is the safe room, and in here we have spring trap. I really wanted to include this just because it's like a fun little Easter egg. Um, because obviously Springtrap, uh, William Afton gets into the Spring Bonnie suit, and he dies in the safe room in, in FNAF 3, and there's also three arcade machines against the wall, so I put those three, one of each one. And now, um, let's go over to, right over here, actually let's go on the other side first, just so that, um, you can see, because there's the supply closet, I forgot to put a door in here, but I didn't really put much in here, just put, um, couple fences and stuff and that's meant to be like a mop and then i put like drawings on the walls as well to represent what we see in the cameras and same on the other side uh we see chica like right here and like she's right next to these and then freddy appears like closer back here um but yeah and these are stars which is cool uh but then in here we have the fnaf 1 office now this is actually a block the fnaf 1 desk um, and then there's actually door and light buttons. I put the I put a redstone lamp so that, that this is actual light. Um, and I put a pizza box on the on the ground and lockers behind you because that's what we see in the FNAF VR version of the FNAF One Office behind you. 
Um, so obviously I put the celebrate poster up because that's in the game in the mod, and then I put all the different ver uh, all the different children's drawings. So yeah, and these doors actually work too, by the way. There's this, which is cool, and I put tinted glass just because uh, it doesn't let any light in. <laughs> And, um, well, not that there would be any light in here for, like, in, in, during the FNAF 1 nights or anything, but, but, like, just, just wanted to include that. That's, that's funny. <laughs> I, I, I suffocated myself for a second. Um, I think that's everything there is to show, though. I think that's my, the entire FNAF 1 location, um, built, I think. Is that all? I feel like we went through it really fast, but it was 14 minutes, so, yeah. Um, I haven't started working on my FNAF 2 location yet, but I will at some point. Someone, I think his name was like Cup of Tea something, made the entire security breach pizzaplex in Minecraft and made it functional too. And I'm going to be making the the uh, the pizzaplex in Minecraft as well in this world because I, that's why I built the Afton ending. And there's the elevator right here, so I'm going to connect that uh, and go up. And then that, I'm going to turn that into... Um, into the I'm, I'm gonna put the pizza box up there the problem is i there's no way i can build it as well as cup of tea did seriously that guy made everything functional with like two million blocks in total and like i think like hundreds of command blocks too and it's so cool i'm i know nothing about command blocks and honestly redstone either so yeah, when I build the FNAF, the the security breach pizza plex, I'm not gonna like release this map out to the public or anything, but I am going to try my best to build it, obviously to the best of my abilities. And I uh, hope you guys are excited to see me do that. I don't think I'm gonna do like individual videos. I mean, I might, I'm, I might make videos of like the process of building it. I think Cup of Tea did that too. Um, maybe I'll do like one section of the pizza plex at one time like i'll do i built roxy raceway in minecraft and then after that like i built rockstar row in minecraft so that i can connect it and try to find out where to uh, and try to find out the best way to plot the uh the fnaf 4 My michael's michael's room like the nightmare like the nightmare uh, area um that because that would be like i think like right over here or whatever so i need to connect that up um, to make sure that it's accurate. Um, so yeah. Uh, I think that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, please do leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, I mean, if you want to, obviously. If you don't want to, that's completely fine. You don't have to. I'll just be crying myself to sleep. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. I, uh, by the time I'm recording this, I think I'm at like 9,169 or 60 something subscribers and that's just so cool honestly when i first started my channel almost three years ago now i never expected to make it this far and like obviously it's not as far as other people go but it's far enough that i was in a fnaf a uh, graphic novel um dub i played carlton aka the best fnaf character of all time and someone like vapor the gamer a dude with almost a million subscribers reacted to it and that was so cool um and, like, I never expected to be in, like, the position I am today. Like, I never expected to be, like, as successful as I am. And I, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm, like, getting, like, a crap ton of money out of it or anything. Like, I am monetized, but I don't do it for the money. And, honestly, the money that I do get from it, it's, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's enough. I don't need any more than I get, um... And, and again, like, I don't make an, um, enough that it's, like, a full-time job or anything. I just do YouTube for fun, both for my sake and for everyone else's. Because um, a lot of people enjoy my videos, and I enjoy making them. So, um, so yeah, I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. Um, I didn't end up doing a 9,000 subscriber special. I was going to, but um, the idea I had, I, uh, I wasn't able to do. But for 10,000 subscribers, I have something very special planned. Um, I'm hoping to get to, by to 10,000 subscribers either by the anniversary of my channel, the three-year anniversary of my channel, or by the end of the year. Um, I hope. Uh, so, if you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to, of course. If you don't like my videos, and that's that's fine. That's cool with me. Um, a little bit. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm just kidding around. It's obviously your decision. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but I would really appreciate it. But that's all for this video. I'm currently currently working on a theory, by the way. So stay tuned for when that comes out in the future. 
I mean, I have a bunch of theories planned. Like, every time I, I do one theory, I have, like, three more ideas for upcoming ones. I think of, I, I honestly just think of them either when I'm going to bed or when I'm in the shower. Just randomly, shower thoughts, you know? Or bedtime thoughts, I guess, you know? I, I just think of them at random moments, and I'm just like, hold up, I need to make a theory about this. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now I'm working on one about stitch line games and why I don't believe it. Um, and that's not to say that you can't. I just, I'm just gonna explain why I personally don't. I've been rambling for for like five minutes. Like I haven't, I finished showing you this this thing five minutes ago, and I've just been rambling this whole time. Sorry about that, but hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. See ya. Bye.